And recording. So, uh, decided to go back to Dance, Gavin Dance. Um, original one I did for them was Lyrics Lie, which I didn't necessarily care for. Uh, then I did Man of the Year, and that one actually sounded really good. I enjoyed that one a lot more. Um, the next one, I had two suggestions. Uh, a couple of people told me to do Inspire the Liars. Uh, they said I'd probably like that one. And then I got a suggestion to do Alex English. And I was told that Alex English is the older of the two. So since everything I've done by them so far has been more modern, I kind of want to see what the original sound or the older sound was. See if I enjoy that more. So let's give it a chance. So one of the problems I had with lyrics lie was the sound of the singer's voice more in like the chorusy parts. Uh, this sounds a lot better. Um, Man of the Year, I enjoyed the voice more as well. Uh, this, I think I enjoy the voice the most out of the three songs I've heard. Um, I, li I like the growly and I like the sort of whiny kind of yelling. Uh, it, it fits better with everything that's being played and the riffage that's happening. It's a little dancey with the drumming, but it's, it's nice. I, I appreciate the rhythm of it. Yeah. 
So this last little part, I actually enjoyed that more than the beginning part, which is surprising. Uh, it had more melody and it had a... It was more of a straightforward structure, but it had more of like a bluesy, jazzy feel to it. Kind of reminded me of a band called Blindside? Like older Blindside? And there was also that part where it transitioned and it was sort of just acoustic sounding. Um, and that made me think of um, there's there's an artist. Her name is Khaki King. She does almost exclusively like, uh, or she did almost exclusively uh, solo acoustic guitar kind of deals. Um, they incorporated more like experimental stuff, but it was like tapping, and it was odd sort of tunings, and it kind of gave me a feel of that. So I that last part, I enjoyed a lot more. The first half of the song, based off the construction and the production, made me feel like this might be off the first album, either that or the second, like one of the one of the original albums, just because it was like uh, full of energy, and then there was like a lot packed into it. I I think. I enjoyed Man of the Year overall a lot more, but there are pieces and portion of this one that I enjoyed more than that. This one had more variety, I think. And from what I've told, I've been told, um, this band tends to get kind of funky sometimes, or kind of like that jazzy portion. And I, I tend to enjoy those like pockets a lot because there's a there's a nice contrast like um when you have something super heavy and then you scoop in and just transition exactly just right into like a nice little jazz section like there's nothing better than that would this technically be considered emo like i know that's one of those words that people either are like yeah yeah i'm all about that this is emo or they're like don't you dare call this song emo. but I'm, I'm curious what this is classified under like what the fans consider this um this music to be or this song to be because obviously you can change genres from album to album or song to song um I've never been good at classifying stuff anyway. Like uh, whenever I create something, I never know how to classify it myself. But yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this band a lot more than I initially thought I would. Especially after that first song, the lyrics, Sly one kind of like, psh, like hit me over the head and, and kind of making me think like I wouldn't like this band, but it's slowly winning me over. Uh, I'm thinking the way to go is to start with the older older songs and older albums and just transition to the uh newer more commercial uh sort of singles that they have uh, but give me more suggestions should i continue with the old stuff or are there newer s songs that i might enjoy more should i go to inspire the liars tune in next time same bat channel same everything else.